Level 5, Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. If you seek power, precision, and performance all at once, the ZenBook Pro Duo from Asus is the perfect gadget in the market. Despite the high-end gaming intensive hardware, it's the dual display module that gets most of the attention. The Intel Core i9-9980HK CPU is the fastest processor for 3D modeling, while the 9th generation Intel chipsets offer a decent base clocking and significant turbo clocking speeds, the availability of 8 processor cores is enough to handle demanding modeling and rendering tasks. Besides the turbocharged clocking speeds of up to 5 GHz and multi-threading technology, the machine also stacks in a powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU with 6 GB of VRAM. Number 4. Asus ROG Zephyrus M the inclusion of the all-encompassing ROG Zephyrus M is always expected, if we're considering high-end gaming and 3D modeling. While you might find the RAM support a bit basic for the existing set of requirements, the gadget performs just fine courtesy of an advanced spec sheet. The existing 9th generation Intel Core i7-9750H SoC brings in 6 cores and a turbo clocking speed of 4.5 GHz. While it supports multi-threading for handling AutoCAD and under-demanding applications with ease, the show stealer is the powerful GeForce RTX 2070 GPU from NVIDIA. The existing GPU, clubbed with 8GB of VRAM, is capable of supporting viewpoint rendering that involves GPU accelerometer. Number 3. Razer Blade 15 Here's another feature-packed device capable of running demanding 3D modeling applications, renderers, and tools with seamless ease. The Razer Blade 15 boasts of excellent processing performance and even shelters a pretty standard battery. As mentioned, the performances are commendable within the Intel Core i7-10750H capable of attaining turbo clocking speeds of up to 5 GHz. 3D modeling on platforms like Ansys works like a charm as this device is capable of handling CPU-intensive simulations and tasks with ease. The GeForce RTX 2070 GPU with 8 GB of VRAM support is equally powerful. Software units like Blender, the preferred CUDA cores, run smoothly with this graphics processing unit at the helm. Number 2. Lenovo ThinkPad P71 If you're looking for a massive, killer workstation that sits on the desk and doesn't need to be carried around much, the ThinkPad P71 from Lenovo is worth considering. Driving the same is a powerful Intel Core i7-7700HQ processor with a base clocking speed of 2.8 GHz. However, Lenovo ditches the NVIDIA GTX and RTX units on this one for the CAD-optimized Quadro M620M GPU clubbed with 2GB of VRAM. While this graphics unit isn't meant for gaming, OpenGL 4.5 and DirectX 12 compatibility make it the best bet for 3D modeling and rendering. The powerful battery lasts up to 6 hours, which is quite commendable considering the nature of the tasks. Number 1. HP ZBook 15 v G5 if you seek an insanely powerful and perfectly balanced workstation, it's time to give the HP ZBook 15 v G5 a try. Although this is a dream laptop for the 3D modelers, it's the 3TB storage capacity that stands out from the rest. Firstly, the performances are determined by the Intel Core i7-8750 CPU that can be turbo clocked up to 4.1 GHz. It also comes with a 9MB cache that readily minimizes the access times for important tasks. It wouldn't be wrong to consider the HP ZBook 15 v G5 as the perfect gadget for product managers and architects who need to work with AutoCAD, Solid Edge, and other tools for finalizing 3D models and renders. Now that we've shown you the best laptops for 3D modeling out there, let's talk about a few things you should look for before buying one. Operating Systems No matter how strong your opinions are regarding Windows versus Mac, the truth is that either one is capable of handling 3D modeling. The common assumption is that a Mac is the chosen computer among creative artists, but in all honesty, a high-quality Windows device can be just as good. Processor. Running 3D software requires a lot of power, which is why your primary focus should be on laptop processing. A device's processor is the lifeblood of the machine, controlling the overall processors and productivity. If you're going with Intel Core, aim for an i7 CPU, but i5 is also acceptable. Memory or RAM. RAM basically controls how well the laptop can multitask. A laptop with low RAM, say 2 or 4 GB, is much less capable of multitasking than one with 8 or 16 GB. For basic 3D modeling, 8 GB of RAM is suitable, but for more intensive projects and heavy rendering, you'll want to go with 16 GB. Storage drives, HDD or SSD. In recent years, laptop brands have gravitated from hard disk drive, HDD storage, to solid state disk, SSD storage. This is because SSD offers more reliability, more durability, and faster storing capabilities. Just be sure to choose a laptop with adequate SSD for handling high-volume CAD and 3D modeling files.